Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon. I guess that's all relative based on when you're watching this and where you're watching this, but uh, welcome to MacFam TV. A little bit of news that's going on right now that I wanted to bunch in here real quick. A uh, lot of you know that uh, Hewlett Packard purchased Palm Inc. last year, 2010, for $1.2 billion. One of the things we got out of that was the HP touchpad. Uh, running Palm's, well now HP's, WebOS. Uh, last week, or a little before, HP canceled the entire WebOS program, and the HP touchpad has been placed on, uh, well, technically a fire sale. Went from $400 to $100 for the 16 gig, and $500 to 150 for the 32 gig. Uh, which you can still pick up at some Best Buy stores and other retailers. Now the catch here is a lot of people are rather nervous. They've purchased this device and uh, suddenly there's no more support because obviously there's no development for the operating system anymore. Uh, the last generation of the touchpad that was sent out, or I should say the last batch that was sent out, uh, a few have been showing up uh, confirmed coming from Best Buy stores with Android uh, version 2.2, Froyo. Uh, what's really interesting about this is the hardware is 100% Android compliant as far as the type of processor, video system, etc. that is on the touchpad. And the touchpad in and of itself, hardware-wise, is a great device in and of itself. A lot of people are seeing this as a, a lifesaver, so they will be able to continue to use their device and still get software updates, get additional programs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's a catch right now. Um, the hackers group, uh, Hack and Mods, they do a lot of Android development, uh, has offered a bounty for a complete Android ROM, and here's the catch a way to install it over machines running WebOS. Um, what this means is that they want to develop an Android operating system for the touchpad. The catch is if someone out there can get one of these rare Android loaded touchpads and has enough background as a programming developer to develop a method to load this onto other machines, you can claim this entire bounty. The bounty is going up as well. Uh, it started out at uh, $1,500 if you could hit it from top to bottom. Um, and basically, if you've got one off of HP's image, that will hit every aspect that they want for it. Uh, it has gone up now. The last price that I saw was $2,000. $275. Uh, I know that people are actually donating to this because this is a big deal. Um, if you have perchance picked up one of these machines that has Android on it, or if you want to take a risk and run to the store and buy one and see if you just got one of the weird ones that has Android on it, um, it's worth a shot to see if you can get that information pulled off so that other developers can, can uh, collaborate with you to see if you can generate an installable image. Um, this is great. This is a bunch of people who are working with the open source concept and saving a device from extinction, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to place a link to don'thatethegeek.com in the description. Uh, yes, I didn't want to really tie these two together, but I will admit that I am writing for that article, and the article that I'm citing is my work. Um, Don't Hate the Geek and MacFam TV are going to remain independent projects. I'm not going to be doing crossovers a lot, but this particular item is something I wanted to get the word out on as quick as possible. Anyway, I'm going to finish this with a little bit of video that was taken uh, actually one week ago following the birth of Vic's sister's baby. She filmed a little bit that we never had a chance to get up because obviously the server wasn't working and I didn't have any information that I could use. But obviously that's fixed, so a little clip for you. Hi guys. I'm here at the hospital because my sister just had a baby. This is a brand new hospital that they made in uh, extreme west of where we live. <laughs> we 
we came out here to see my sister. The problem is, is that I've gone back to see her twice today, and she had the baby yesterday, so I don't doubt that she's tired. But we've gone back twice today, and she's she's fallen asleep. So I'm not going to bug her, and I saw the baby. The baby's fine, but the whole family's here, and we're not going to do much more than expose her to two Mac fam at a time. So we're going to wait, and I'm going to go check on her in about 20 minutes to see if she's awake yet and if the baby needs to be cuddled and loved. And, you know, we'll, we'll see it later. In the meantime, we've got this awesome view of everything around us. Um, this waiting room is fantastic for little kids. There's everything here. All the nifty little stuff here is where the kidney bean and... Uh, Everybody else is just having a great time looking. There is a TV. The boys are having a great time uh, finding their shows, but we're just, uh, we, we muted it so we could actually record a little bit. So, here's where we are. This is what we're doing. We're doing. Welcome to MacFam TV. <laughs> Baby was born yesterday, but I went back to school. Okay. Mommy, mommy. <laughs>